Okay, welcome back to my full self-driving video series. It's been about a month or so since I posted a video for several reasons. I mean, uh, not a lot's changed in the public builds in that time period. It seemed relatively stagnant, um, so it's potentially good news. Uh, but the main reason I'm making this video is because Elon Musk recently tweeted out that the beta is going to be expanding, and supposedly version 8.2 that we're currently on uh, may be expanding uh, out to double the current reach and then version 8.3 potentially to 10 times the current number. So I feel like it's my duty to kind of make a video showing the limitations and requirements to be a beta tester and to kind of emphasize that this is not uh, a perfected product and that it's very important that you operate it in a safe manner. So I have a relatively easy route here uh, laid out, a few intersections, stuff like that. But I just want to take this real time and kind of make some comments on the requirements and what you need to do as a new beta tester to make sure that you are safe, not only for yourself, but also for everyone around you on the road. So one thing I do want to make comment on before I get off here or set off here is that I feel 100% safe operating full self-driving beta. I would put anyone in the car with me using it with absolutely no fear of injury beyond normal driving hazards. That's because I have absolute and total control at all times of the vehicle. I can intervene with the steering wheel by blocking a bad input. So if full self-driving tries to jerk the wheel, I'm always prepared on the wheel to block a bad input. Likewise with the brake pedal, if I'm in a situation where I see the car is potentially doing something where I do not want to proceed, I will hover the brake with the sole of my foot touching the pedal and I am prepared to immediately stop it from proceeding forward. Uh, with the accelerator, if I'm in a situation where it's safer to go than to stop, for example, if I have someone behind me or to my side, something like that, I'll hover the accelerator and be prepared for an immediate uh, acceleration input in order to override it from slowing down aggressively. So I feel totally safe and in control at all times. Oops, I'm already in drive. Totally safe and in control at all times and I believe that full self-driving beta is absolutely safe with proper supervision. And that's why I'm making this video because I feel like it's extremely important to emphasize that this could potentially be dangerous if you're not careful. Um, but with supervision by a competent driver who's paying attention, this is safe. So I'll turn it on right now. For example, if there were a person walking out from that vehicle right now, we were very close. I would be further away to give myself a chance to see if there is, you know, a pedestrian coming out. I realize you can't see to the side. So I'll do this. There's a car down there about 75 yards. And the car is proceeding out. Okay, it's now clear. I'm not providing input. No input. And it's doing this all by itself. Very unnatural. So the comment I have on that is Full self-driving beta is going to cause other drivers to be nervous around you because it does things in an unnatural fashion. So we were kind of creeping out into the road as this white car was proceeding from the left. No doubt it made that car nervous uh, because of how we were acting. So this car doesn't drive like a human. Uh, this is a robot, essentially. It does not behave like a human. It's going to do things that startle drivers around you. The number of times I've seen people behind me in my rearview mirror doing you know hand gestures like what are you doing what are you doing this type of stuff you know I see I see this all the time in my rearview mirror because the car will do weird things and the drivers behind me get agitated happens all the time not because the car is doing something wrong it's just because it's doing something weird that's not a human normal behavior right so be prepared for that be prepared to feel very awkward <laughs> very frequently because the car is doing strange things and the drivers around you aren't going to understand what's happening. Uh, a situation that I've seen, seen here, we, we slowed a little bit aggressively, a situation I've seen in this particular location is sometimes the car will try to pass the stop traffic, uh, get in the turn lane, go around. We have clear indication of the red lights here, but sometimes for whatever reason it will say, hey, I want to get around these guys and go to the left. It's, you know, safe to uh, stop it because I have my hands on the wheel and I can instantly prevent that uh, bad input and it will trigger uh, full self-driving to turn off. So the next uh, situation we have up here 
is a double left turn lane that's not very well marked. Sometimes the car decides to go in the left turn lane, sometimes it decides to go in the right turn lane. Each one has its own hazards, and the best you can do is have a firm grip on the wheel, follow the movements, and be prepared to intervene and block an improper action. So right now, the car might get impatient. I have quite a bit of experience with this. I've been driving it since December of last year, uh, many thousands of miles on full self-driving beta. So you kind of get a feeling for how the car might behave in certain circumstances. If you're an experienced autopilot driver with regular autopilot, you know what I'm talking about. You can predict situations where the, full, where the autopilot might have troubles. So this guy just passed me on the left, so you need to be prepared to prevent it from trying to do a similar move, you know, and cut them off. So we can see our uh, path indicator here, uh, maybe. It's kind of telling us it wants to get on that inside turn lane for this left turn. Uh, I have people behind me who are impatient and going around me. Um, so yeah, I mean, you kind of just have to be always prepared and, uh, you know, expected to do the worst thing at the worst possible time, which I think that's basically the wording that uh, is in the full self-driving beta release notes, to expect it to do the worst thing at the worst time. Um, but like I said, as long as you are prepared to take over, prepared to intervene, I do have confidence that it's very safe with supervision. Um, you can't let your guard down. And with full self-driving beta, even on a straight road with well-marked lane lines, it can potentially go outside the lane. I think we're all used to regular autopilot, where if you have really good lane lines, you're pretty confident it's going to do a good job, right? Well, in this case, with uh, even with well marked lane, see, like right now, we're gonna. This guy behind is like, What's up with this guy? Um, normally, I put student driver magnets on, I forgot because I was trying to get out the door to make this video. That's just my technique. I put uh, student driver magnets on, I feel like at least it gives other drivers a little bit of a heads up that maybe this driver doesn't know exactly what they're doing. Um, but that's just my technique. So, at this double left turn here. I give it very high likelihood that I'm going to have to intervene because I think from prior, uh, prior experience the car is going to try to take the turn too wide and we'll get too close to this van beside us here. That's my guess. Uh, it's not well marked, which which hurts, right? Um, but I have, I have had it do it successfully in the past, right? The variability of sometimes it does it right, sometimes it does it not correctly it's it's good and bad, right? As a driver, it keeps you vigilant because you never know if it's going to do it good or, or not so good, right? Um, I have theories on that that I won't spread, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll always be prepared to uh, to intervene at all times, especially in situations where you have you know traffic close to you. So far we haven't had any interventions, I haven't overridden with the accelerator, I haven't disconnected. Okay, here we go. Protected left turn. I am prepared and see we're taking it kind of wide. And I don't know, I didn't like that. It might have been successful, but we were too far that way. So I intervened, I kept us a little bit more towards the left. I think it might have been okay, but once again, I don't want to crowd out that driver to my right and scare them. Uh, full self-driving beta. It doesn't really scare me because, like I said, I'm always in control, so I don't personally get scared. However, I do think it will and does scare other drivers around you because it does things that are strange, weird, unpredictable, not quite right. Um, so my, my concern is that once this software rolls out to a wider and wider number of people, is that other drivers are going to become very agitated by Tesla cars because they're going to see them behaving in weird, irrational ways. Um, so that's a potential downfall that I see is just other drivers are going to kind of start not liking these cars doing weird robotic maneuvers on the highway. Um, that's something that's going to have to be dealt with. That's a bridge that's going to have to be crossed. Um, but I do see that as probably the most likely fallout from a wider release. Because right now there's only supposedly a thousand total testers. Uh, from what we know, it seems like the vast majority of those are internal Tesla employees who are under a strict NDA and not allowed to talk about it. It seems like there's somewhere around 40 to 50 public beta testers such as myself who are allowed to post videos. 
Uh, we don't know how we've been selected. Um, there's certain, you know, identifying qualities and potentially our driving record that that flag us as being low risk. Um, but we don't know how that's going to carry forward as the beta gets widened. Um, but yeah, as this gets rolled out wider and wider and wider, uh, I think the likelihood of other drivers becoming annoyed is going to be quite strong. So anyway, we'll keep going down this straight road here. This should be relatively easy. Uh, pretty much a straight shot, and then we have an unprotected left-hand turn into uh, an auto zone for my destination that I selected. See, like right now we did a little weird swerve there. I'm ready on the wheel, and we do have a car kind of in our quartering blind spot to the rear. Uh, half the time, I feel like, you know, to an outside observer, they might think, you know, I'm heads down on a cell phone or something like that, which of course is absolutely not the case, because you have to be hyper vigilant when you're supervising. But sometimes it will do weird things like, man, this person's not paying attention quite like they should be. Um, so we'll see. Uh, Elon Musk also mentioned that version 8.3, which is supposedly the next release within the next two to three weeks, according to his timeline, has somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand, I think he said, improvements. Uh, I don't know if that's a lot or a little. I mean, uh, a thousand sounds like a lot, but maybe that doesn't manifest into a whole lot of um, actual improvements. Maybe it does. And like I said, we've pretty much been stuck on this same full self-driving for quite a while. Uh, the behavior hasn't really changed much for, I would say, over a month to a month and a half. So that could be good news. That could mean that, you know, potentially 8.3 really is a, a fairly highly refined version with a lot of material changes to the code. Um, I don't know. I'm obviously super excited. And I know this is kind of a serious video, but I also want to say that this technology is absolutely amazing and I am incredibly excited to be a part of the testing team. Uh, this is phenomenal, and this is really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be a member of such a small group of tester, testers uh, with this you know, technology in my garage every day. So I'm super honored to be a member of the team, and I think everyone else is gonna be super excited too as you come on board. I just wanted to make sure that everyone's well aware that this is a serious job, and you need to be absolutely vigilant supervising at all times. So here's our destination here, AutoZone. We need to get into the turn lane. There's no one behind us. I would like to see it be a little bit more aggressive with that. We have oncoming traffic. Is it gonna go? It is. It is not, it is, okay. See, that that worked pretty well. Um, I like that. It could have been a little bit faster, but I liked that, that actually worked. Let me just clear the, uh, clear the stream here so that anyone behind us could get in, but those are my comments on full self-driving beta and the requirement to supervise. Uh, I am super excited for new testers to come on board because this is absolutely amazing. Um, I realize how excited everyone is going to be to get this because I was excited. And I still am excited every time I go out to drive this. So this is an amazing opportunity for the new testers. Just realize that you need to be super uh, vigilant at all times. So anyway, I'm going to go for some more drives. I might record those and put them as a separate video. But this was an unbroken video, made it from my house to AutoZone with one intervention in that double turn lane. Probably could have made it, but I was uh, disengaging out of abundance of caution, which on the bright side should trigger to Tesla that uh, you know something wasn't quite right there and they can refine it to make it better in the future. So anyway, uh, drive safe and good luck on getting in the beta.